In this video, we will see how to convert a commercial refrigeration system that uses HFC refrigerant to one that uses the best option in natural refrigerants, propane R290. Its most significant benefits include the reduction of CO2 emissions into the atmosphere due to the significant reduction in energy consumption and that it does not require drastic changes in the design of the equipment. To convert a commercial refrigeration system that uses HFC refrigerant to propane, as well as change the refrigerant charge, we must replace the compressor, filter dryer and expansion device, which can be an expansion valve suitable for the R290 or in our case a capillary tube. To change the original compressor, the first thing that we have to do is determine the equivalent propane compressor. To do this, we will enter the compressor model that appears on the label into our online catalogue and click search. Once the search is complete, we will enter the refrigeration production values, voltage and application into the system. After that, we will use the search filters to enter propane as a refrigerant. While keeping the same application and voltage as the original compressor. And the cooling capacity of the original compressor in the cooling capacity search box. Once we have entered all the data, we press the search button so that the program shows us the equivalent propane compressor. The program may show various compressors depending on the level of efficiency of each one. When changing the refrigerant in the refrigeration system, due to the thermodynamic characteristics of each refrigerant, the capillary tube must be changed. To do this, we will use the capillary calculation software that is available on our website. Our program offers two ways of calculating the capillary tube, by entering the compressor model and the working conditions, or by entering the cooling capacity and the system's working conditions. In our case, as we already know the model of the compressor, we will carry out the calculation using the first option. We then enter the type of refrigerant and the compressor model. Next, we will enter the working conditions of the application. If you do not know the working conditions, click on the Show Condition Table button. Enter the ASHRAE conditions into the Working Conditions section depending on whether the compressor is Low Back Pressure LBP, or High Back Pressure HMBP. Remember to use the formulas that appear in this table to calculate the subcooling and superheating. Last of all, we have to select whether our capillary is going to be coiled around the suction line or not and enter the diameter of the capillary tube. Once all the data is entered, press search button to carry out the calculations and show us the recommended capillary. If you would like more information regarding capillary calculation, you can also consult our user manual. When changing an HFC system to a propane one, it is recommended to change the filter dryer. For propane, it is recommended that a XH9 or XH11 filter is used. The amount of refrigerant always depends on the type of system and its components. Changing the system to the R290 means approximately 40 to 50% less refrigerant charge compared to the R404A. Furthermore, as it is a pure fluid, the refrigerant can be charged in liquid state or gaseous state. The performance of the new application is the same with a very significant energy consumption benefits, approximately 30% less, which entails significant savings on the end user's energy bill. This reduction in energy consumption means that there is always less CO2 emitted into the atmosphere. Additionally, its application does not require drastic design changes to the equipment that is currently charged with other HFC refrigerants.